search engine optimization efforts are working. A local SEO audit reveals the condition of your page in search engine rankings and ways that you can further improve your site for a surge in conversions and revenue. Although you want your actual store accessible to customers in your area, the internet is a valuable asset to make them aware of your place. According to Google, in the last two years, mobile searches in the near me category with some alteration of to buy has escalated over 500%. With the substantial increase in local shopping searches, it's worth to invest in a local SEO audit for your business. Fortunately, you can conduct a free local SEO audit with the following steps. Start by managing a Google My Business. Google My Business puts your business listing within the regular search results pages and on Google Maps. If you don't have a verified Google My Business account already, your local SEO audit should be creating one. If you do have an account, it's beneficial to look through your account and optimize it for search users. Look through all of the information associated with your business to give a genuine representation of your services, products, location, hours, and supplementary information. Google uses relevance, distance, and prominence to assist listings, so gauge how you can change your listings to encourage proper rankings. Then examine your keyword targeting. Keywords are a major component of SEO, even local SEO. However, local SEO requires special keywords that pertain to your area and your target desired region. To carry out an analysis of your localized keywords, you need to review which keywords you rank for. Using tools like Moz's Keyword Explorer, you can view which keywords currently benefit your campaign for free. Then you can skim through your rankings and identify any location-based terms that help you stand out for nearby customers. For example, Panera Near Me is a high-ranking keyword for Panera, which displays its healthy SEO condition. The organic keywords that draw in visitors are important for reinforcing your SEO campaign with a stronger local presence. Geo-modifying local keywords for SEO can cause your visibility to soar. Geo-modified keywords are existing keywords dressed up with setting-specific keywords. For instance, you could add Austin, Texas to Bagel Shop to modify it for the city. Skimming through your close competitors' top keywords can also lend itself to your SEO strategy. Besides a typical keyword placement in the title, your localized keywords should appear in meta tags as well. From your meta title tag to your meta description, check to see if your keywords are plugged into each part of your page to meet the standards of Google and appeal to users. Make sure to uncover harmful duplicate content. While every site has duplicate content, like terms and conditions or printer-only versions of a page, certain kinds of duplicate content hinder your SEO and keep your page from showing up in local searches. Google specifically warns against deceptive matching copy, but offers several options for necessary duplicate material. If you have multiple versions of a page with different URLs, conicalization indicates to Google the page that you want to be crawled and first seen. It means that you demonstrate to the search engine the primary URL for a page so that there's a lower chance of the duplicate content showing up. Auditing your local SEO for these is crucial for search rankings, but it is also worthwhile to look for Google My Business duplicates. Giving more weight to a listing helps Google consider you a viable result. Eliminating duplicate listings also steers you clear from incorrect addresses, phone numbers, and details. Outdated information can also be merged on Google My Business to prevent loss of reviews or diminish authority on your original listing. Good backlinking continues to matter in SEO and in local SEO. Descriptive phrases about your area can help or hurt depending on how you enact them. Dishonest linking and spam-ridden backlinking can decrease your page's trustworthiness in the eyes of search engines, so research the nature of the links to your pages. Unnatural anchor text in backlinks can alert Google to questionable behavior. So look over the anchor phrases that point back to your page. Ensure the majority of them are appropriate and helpful so that you can have confidence in your local SEO ranking. In your local SEO audit, backlink analysis keeps you up to date on potential penalties. It lets you take action if you're concerned about the spam heavy links and quickly employ the nofollow attribute to signal Google you disapprove. Check citations and mentions for your local SEO audit. Apart from linked popularity, citations, and mentions, when other sites discuss your brand without necessarily linking, they contribute to the shape of your local SEO. Citations reference your name, 
address, and phone number, also known as NAP, which then is useful for users if they need to give you a call or stop by your store. High quality local citations can fill in the gaps about your authority and reach for search engines. During your local SEO audit, you need to track your citations and mentions to understand the level of feedback you're getting from the physical establishment. NAP consistency is critical because old phone numbers or address changes can be problematic for customers. Google and alternate search engines prize user satisfaction, so watch out for the NAP variations in your local SEO audit. And finally, analyze your social media platforms. Your influence and scope on social media can pump up your local SEO because search engine algorithms tend to include social elements. Inspect the search engine results page to see if your social profiles show up in the organic rankings. Additionally, Google's Knowledge Graph holds social media profiles, so it can produce a better user experience when people are able to navigate to and from your active profiles. If you extend your reach, if you extend your reach to Bing, social media is also significant because branded searches have linked social platform in the snapshot pan. Enter your brand name and location into the Google search bar to test out your social media integration. Bing Places for Business is Bing counterpart. Bing Places for Business is Bing's counterpart to Google My Business. And for an established presence, insert links to your social media network should be available on your account. Social media engagement affects your local SEO and attracts traffic to your brand, and it becomes more recognized and sought after. Check out how prominent your social media pages are in the organic search and knowledge graphs. A good SEO is a process. That's why having an ongoing content strategy is one of the best things that you can do to increase your website's overall keyword value. It not only increases the number of terms that you can end up ranking for, but it also creates more entry points onto your site that could potentially reach the coveted top three positions. Blogging for your business is tricky. By now, I'm sure you can see how strongly we feel about leveraging the data and being strategic about the approach. That's why we like to do a little content research using the target keywords. Research like this can be done for every blog post that you produce, and it's the foundation for every blog post our team of SEO writers produce. Ultimately, the goal is to produce content that has search engine and social media value. This approach can help you build a library of great resources that can drive traffic for years to come. Create a gig with the steps given below and make it a hit. Find your ideal subcategory and service. When you join Fiverr as a seller, the first thing they tell you to do is create your own gig. But before you pick the first category that pops into your head, take some time to work out your ideal niche and the services you're going to offer. To do that, you're going to look at Fiverr the way a buyer would. You can do that easily by clicking the buying link in the navigation menu. After that, use the menu buttons at the top of the main category that matches the services that you want to offer. Hover over any link and you'll see a sub-menu with the subcategories. Explore these in detail so you can pick the perfect one for your gig. When you click on the subcategory, pay attention to the menu on the left of the page. This has further refinements and gives you an idea of what buyers will look for when choosing your services. For example, in the whiteboard and animated explainer subcategory, you can segment by type of animation, whiteboard, 2D, or kinetic and by output format, MP4, AVI, and MOV. In the email marketing subcategory, you can segment by email platform and what's included, responsive design, campaign development, or graphics. Check out the competition in your subcategory. Once you've refined what you plan to offer, the next step is to see who you're up against. When you're in a subcategory, the default view shows recommended service providers, but many buyers will be more interested in who's got a good track record. These are your competitors. To find them, change the default view from recommended to best selling. This will tell you which gigs are already popular and give you a sense of what kind of service you have to offer in order to make yours equally as popular. Pay attention to the sellers with hundreds of thousands of reviews and a star rating of 4.7 or higher. That's who you want to beat. As you browse their profiles, Look for how they describe their services, whether they're offering something that you can also offer, or if there's any extras that you can offer that they don't offer. Scroll down to the end of their gig description and check out the keywords they use to describe their gig. Make a note of these for when you create your own gig.
Do this for multiple sellers till you feel like you've got a good handle on what buyers in your niche really want. Then it's time to switch back to the selling interface and start setting up your Fiverr gig. Create an appealing title. With thousands of providers to scroll through, buyers will use the gig title as a handy way to decide which gigs are worth their time. So it's important to highlight your unique selling point in the 80 characters you have to title your Fiverr gig. The three ways to make your title stand out are to use adjectives to describe your service. Most sellers say that their services are professional, but if you add some emotion, then your title stands out. Include a related service. For example, with video, you can add that you do post-production. The next is add your delivery time. If you're going to deliver your product or service within 24 hours, it's worth mentioning in the title. You can then choose your subcategory and tags. Pick your gig category. Fiverr will recommend subcategories based on your choice, but use the research you did earlier to choose the subcategory where you can complete effectively with other sellers. While you're there, select your gig metadata. These are other filtering options for your gig, as described in our first step. Finally, add the tags you identified from your earlier research. You can choose up to five. Remember, subcategories, metadata, and tags will show up as the filtering options for buyers, so choose wisely. Now you can create your Fiverr gig and price it. After your title, you have 100 characters to create a catchy description for each gig package. Choose your gig options. These vary depending on the subcategory that you're in. Graphic design gives you options for the number of concepts, included resolution, 3D mockups, and many more. Content marketing provides options for additional optimized titles, marketing action plans, content sharing, and more. Business plan writing provides options for leads, cold calling, cold emailing, and more. Set your price for each package anywhere between $5 and $995. Then add your gig extras. These are the items that you can charge for, more like revisions, extra fast delivery, or more time spent on the gig. Again, possible gig extras vary depending on the subcategory for your gig. You can also create your own. The next step in creating a successful Fiverr gig is to write a gig description that makes people want to purchase your service. Highlight the benefits for your buyers, including how your services will help them achieve success. Express why you're the right person for them to work with. Five-star sellers with thousands of happy customers usually lead with this type of information because it helps assure potential buyers that they are choosing the right gig. Stay clearly what's included in the service that you offer and include links to social mediums. Use visuals. One of the best ways to have a successful Fiverr gig is to make sure more people see it. Fiverr says creating a gig video can increase your visibility by up to 200%. Gig videos are only 75 seconds long, so make every second count. Tips for improving your gig video include using natural background lighting, looking directly at the camera, and showcasing your personality to help buyers feel comfortable. Many potential Fiverr sellers create an account, get excited, and then struggle as they don't make a lot of progress quickly. The beginning is always the hardest part, and it will be frustrating. You just have to get through it. Persistence is key. You need to create your seven gigs, each targeting different keywords. Make sure to set your prices for each gig at at least the starter package option of $5 so that it's easy for people to try your services before you get your initial reviews. Make sure that once you get your initial clients, you get them and retain them by doing a great job. Don't forget to make your gigs look as attractive as possible, including your portfolio and connecting your social media. Follow these steps to maximize your earnings with Fiverr. First, choose an eye-catching picture and attractive title. Then choose the metadata carefully, optimize your gig search tags, create a compelling description, use frequently asked questions to your advantage, and then link video to your gig and portfolio. Fiverr is quite strict with its policies, so make sure that you have read all of the terms and conditions to avoid any hassle in the future. First, only registered users may buy and sell on Fiverr. Buyers pay Fiverr in advance to create an order, Sellers may not cancel orders on a regular basis. Sellers gain levels as per their performance. Advanced level gives the opportunity to charge more. Only Fiverr.com is to be used as a payment method. Fiverr retains the rights to use all published delivered works for Fiverr marketing and promotions. Fiverr lends itself well to trying out new ways to improve gigs. 
The ideas of commoditizing freelance services as a product and offering those services as a package means that you can try one or two of these changes and see how that impacts on performance. Understand your need and analyze what you want from the social media accounts. Set up your account and make it attractive. Create engaging content specifically designed for sharing. Schedule your uploads and manage it regularly. Share and promote your content. Support your customers and engage with them. And always conduct a social media audit. We learn the following details about Fiverr in this module. What Fiverr is and how to create an account on Fiverr. SEO for Fiverr and how they work. How to create gigs that will help you get more customers. How to understand Fiverr policies. And not to forget to promote yourself through social media and attract more customers.